Uh, please welcome uh, Spencer Kelly for our second senior address. Good afternoon, everybody, the students, the parents, the teachers, various family members. I have one bit of wisdom that I think you're all going to enjoy. You're done. Yeah. Finished. Finalized. You've walked the walk. You've talked the talk. Hasta la vista, baby. You're out of here. You have graduated from high school. Now, you could walk out the door right after you get that diploma, but stay still for just a second, because there's some, some important stuff to cover. This is the beginning of the rest of your lives. This is your opportunity to explore what you want to become. This is where the fun begins. Tonight is a moment where we can reflect on everything that has happened to us. Sure, we'd like to go back, you know, fix a couple things. But overall, we've, had, we've all had an amazing experience. There were the awesome days where you got to go to a museum or simulate your own company because of how free homeschooling is. It shapes who we are, what we are, and where we choose to continue our path. Some of us are confident in our future, while others are unsure of what important choices to make. Regardless of what you choose to do, tonight is a benchmark for the rest of your career. It may not seem that way, but the path you will go down after this summer was influenced by your life here at school. Especially for us over students who can look back and who can see where they chose to take an elective or what courses they chose. I was an over student. I took online courses in somewhere around 7th grade for my schooling, as well as various partnerships and dual enrollment opportunities. OVA has given me the ability to do things I never thought possible. Need to work on one class more than the other? Sure, go ahead. OVA will let you do that. Forget about our class for a week, you're a bit busy? Sure, you can catch up. Most of the time won't affect your grade. Want to finish your entire school year a month early? Now, you're obviously insane, but go ahead. You can do it. The partnership courses were amazing as well. We got to talk, hang out, we got to work on different projects together. The teachers are always student-oriented, encouraging us to succeed and exceed our potential. I've met some of my best friends in these programs. I even got to participate here with their partnership with Oxford High School in the quiz bowl with the junior varsity team. I, couldn't wait, I can't wait to leave school, but by the same token, I enjoyed every second of it. Now, directly to the students, you have shown the commitment and aptitude to graduate from high school tonight. It's one heck of a journey, too. You went from being a young child stuck in school to an older child. Stuck in school. <laughs> now you're not stuck in school, and you're ready to go into the world. We all have our own direction and reach our unique goals. You're as different from the person next to you as apples and oranges because of the choices you made during these years of K-12. However, today's finale of K-12 isn't important because you're graduating. It's important because of what you learned, or rather, what you are learning. Your mind has expanded and you've become an amazing person because of it. It wasn't a destination, it was a journey. There's a reason why your parents keep telling you to enjoy your youth. They're not jealous. It's because you are living a carefree life at this point. You have nothing to worry about, so you can focus solely on yourself and your development. Now, you aren't going to get far because of what you learned. You're going to get far because of what you're learning. Life isn't static. It moves and changes constantly. It's a journey rather than a destination because there is no one destination. Rather, there are probably millions of destinations on this long journey that we call life. Every choice they make is part of one of your destinations that influences the rest of your life as a whole. So enjoy the journey, make good choices, and don't overfocus on small little things. Like the speech, for instance, where you probably spend 10 minutes writing it or 10 hours writing it for 5 minutes of dialogue. I'm never getting those 10 hours back, by the way. Thank you all for listening.
Now please uh, welcome to the stage Ms. Amy Greenspan for the scholarship recognition.